Yeah, they're going to have to start being honest with themselves, I think. I wouldn't normally play a grab as long as this, but to the point you're making, and let's put aside the confusion over people's names, have a listen here to how Biden loses his train of thought. This is, uh, well, anyway, investment in Russia. I mean, in, excuse me, in, uh, in China. I'm catching hell from my wife for that. Anyway. Um, whether or not he has, we should be, he should be attacked. For example, should Zelensky, he's not. If he had the capacity to strike Moscow, you'll see that our military is where I'm following the advice of my commander in chief, my, 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 uh, the, uh, like I said, when unions do better, everybody does better. Bill, that's the leader of the free world. Ostensibly. Um, I, I think really what, what this kind of conjures up in people's minds is who is the leader of the free world at this point? Because I, I genuinely do not believe that it's this man, right? He might, be, he might be rubber stamping the bills. He might be officially passing the executive orders. But in reality, America doesn't really have a democratically elected president right now. What we have is a puppet and then a group of unelected people essentially sliding policy across his desk, uh, possibly even including the first lady. Bill, I live in a country that relies on you, on the United States as our chief ally. And without you, we're an open door to an aggressive China. You've got Russia invading Ukraine. You've got the Middle East on the brink. Please give me some confidence that there's someone there running the defence strategies of the United States so that I can sit here and at least feel half safe. Uh, well, I can, I can definitely assure you that there are people pulling the strings as far as our defence budget, our defence coordination operations with other countries, et cetera. Um, however, it's, it's not necessarily the people most folks would like to see pulling those strings, right? I mean, Antony Blinken comes to mind. Um, for, for all intents and purposes, I think it's probably realistic to say that on all issues pertaining to foreign policy, Antony Blinken is our acting president. Um, so uh, I suppose that offers you as much reassurance as um, however, however good you feel about Antony Blinken, that's how much reassurance it can offer you. Look, I'm not really confident in Donald Trump either. I mean, he's hit out at Biden. He's slammed him for calling Kamala Harris Trump. He doesn't need to do anything. He just has to sit back and, and watch the train wreck. I think someone quoted Napoleon today, don't interfere when your enemy's losing the war on his own. Absolutely. Yeah, never interrupt your opponent when he's making a mistake. Uh, I, I think that Trump is showing a remarkably uncharacteristic amount of restraint uh, over the past couple of weeks. And in fact, the media have very much caught on to this and they've been complaining that, that Trump is not really doing anything, right? He's, he's had the occasional rally. He's still writing on Truth Social, um, but he's not coming out and making these bombastic statements. He hasn't really been shaking things up all that much. I mean, he, he spoke with Viktor Orban, right? But um, there's, there's not a whole lot going on in Trump world right now. And that's kind of forcing the media to either talk about the absence of Trump uh, kind of indignantly or deal with, with the mess that they in many ways made. Because I, I'll remind your viewers, our media were very much complicit in attempting to hide Biden's physical and mental condition from the entire world. Bill, I won't hold you to it, but just finally, does Joe Biden make it to the convention? Yeah, um, I, I think he does. I think he does. Um, I've been saying that, I said that right after the debate. I was saying it well before the debate. And um, I'm going to stick to my guns on that one. Uh, I might end up eating pro, who knows? But uh, that's the sense that I have. I don't think that they can truly reliably force him out unless there is another appearance as truly disastrous as that debate two Thursdays ago. And thus far, he has not delivered that. Surely he's not going to have another debate, is he? Uh, there's talk of a second one, although I don't believe it's scheduled for, uh, or not scheduled, but planned for before the convention. So at that point, they will be very much stuck with him. Bill Agostino, thank you very much for staying up late for us. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me on.